Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I'm super excited. I get to share with you a project for Newton's Nick Designs and we are going to be using the Newton Loves Cake stamp set. It does have a coordinating die set so we're going to use that as well. But I love cupcakes and birthdays and this has a little bit of everything in there including, uh, including some really fun sentiments. So not just for birthday but um, we're going to make it just because sweet card today. So let's jump in and get started. We're going to do some stamping. We're going to bring in the Misty. We're just going to stamp one of the images in the stamp set. It's Newton um, who's um, hugging a cupcake basically, <laughs> which is what I would love to do. Um, I'm stamping with my Misty and um, we're going to use some Nina Classic Crest Solo White card stock along with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Both of these are great um, for coloring with Copic markers and that's what we're going to do today, color our image with Copic markers. I left the coloring in. Um, caps are out, but you probably can't see them because sometimes my camera gets a little blurry. Um, but I did list them in the top left corner for you guys. But I'll play some music while I color and when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done, and we're just set our markers aside here, and I think he turned out so cute. I chose grays and rosied up his little cheeks, and then for the cupcake, I chose chocolate and vanilla. We're going to go ahead and take a, um, take our coordinating die. We're just going to snip it apart with our snippers here, and we're going to line it up over our image and die cut this out. Um, the nice thing about the die set, I just noticed that is it cuts out the birthday hat in the stamp set, but it also cuts out the little candle image. Oh my goodness, it, um, cutting images that small is, fussy cutting images that small is a little bit uh, tricky. So having a coordinating die that will cut out a small candle image is super nice. <laughs> so there's our image all die cut out, ready to go. Now we're going to create a background. We're going to do a little bit of die cutting. This here is called the Frames Squared Die Set, and it creates the perfect square card. I'm taking the largest three. One of them is a scallop, and then the other one's a smaller square panel. And then I'm also going to use the largest heart from the Darling Hearts Die Set. We're going to die cut out um, two of the largest squared, um, square dies, and then one of each one of the rest of them. Um, we're going to create our card base with the two largest dies and it's super easy to do. All of these um, are going to be die cut out with white card stock and once they're all die cut out we can create our card base. So we're going to set these aside and then work on the two largest panels here. Um, it's super easy to create a card base. All you have to do is bring in your scoring board, um, place your panel inside um, the corner here and score at the half inch mark. Once it's scored, the cardstock that I'm using is kind of a heavy duty one, so I'm going to reinforce that score line um, with my bone folder, folding it back and forth. And then I'm going to use my tape runner and just go uh, tape just above the score line. Easy peasy to do. We'll take our first panel, line them up, and secure it at the very top. So your score line's in the back, nobody will ever see it, but it opens and folds perfectly. 
So there is our square card base. Now the size of this is a little bit over four and a half inches. So it's um, gonna fit a five inch square card base beautifully. Not card base, I'm sorry, envelope. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna take our scalloped panel. We're gonna do a little layering. I love adding scallop layers um, to a stitched background. The set does it for you. It's super easy to do, but it adds daintiness and a softness, and so that's what I wanted to do, keep it white. Um, and then we're gonna set that aside. Now for this square panel, we're gonna do a little ink blending with three, three different shades of oxide inks. Vintage Photo, Antique Linen, and Worn Lipstick. I think we're gonna create a nice Neapolitan background. Starting off with Vintage Photo, we're gonna go over the top portion here, do a little ink blending. Now, um, I suggest ink blending on Bristol Smooth cardstock, guys, because it ink blends beautifully. Um, the colors blend together. The cardstock that I'm using here is um, the same cardstock that I use for my card bases, so it's a heavy weight, but there's a little bit of tooth to it when you um, add oxide inks. So it doesn't blend as nice, so I want to get it, as, trying to get a smooth blend as I can. Add a little bit more brown on the very top. Okay, so we have Vintage Photo, Antique Linen. We're gonna go ahead and flip over our panel. We're gonna add our worn lipstick on the very bottom and blend this in with our Antique Linen. And we create a nice, I think these colors just scream um, ice cream or sweets, the Neapolitan color. Just love that. Okay, now we're gonna oxidize some of that ink with the spray bottle. We're gonna add some water droplets and this is the first time it happened, but um, you can actually see the paper or cardstock oxidize on camera. Normally it takes a little bit of time, but you can see here how the water just pulls that color away. I'm just tapping off the excess with my towel here. And so our little background panel is ready to go. Now, originally I was gonna put the pink um, of my panel where you were gonna put it on the bottom but I think there's be too much pink with the cupcake frosting. So we're gonna flip that panel around and put the vintage photo on the bottom. And I think this is gonna flow a little bit nicer. I die cut out the heart to, put, to stamp our sentiment on. And so um, before we do our sentiment, I am gonna take some dark brown and white Baker's twine and tie a bow about half inch from the bottom of this panel. Just gonna bring some more of that dark um, cupcake liner, I'm gonna bring it to life a little bit more. Now originally I had the bow um, on my panel, but I ended up scooting it over to where that knot of the bow was hanging over the edge. This way it gives me a little bit of more room for my kitty cat. I'm gonna pop this panel up with my foam squares and place this on our card base. And I'm just loving the way this looks. Okay. Kind of playing around with our placement. We're gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I chose, I wanted to make it just a because card that I could throw in a cupcake and just give away. This one says, did somebody, or did someone say cake? Question mark, <laughs> so cute. I stamped it with my Memento Rich Cocoa ink. And then we are gonna go ahead and pop this up and place our kitty cat right on top here. So that's ready to go. Next, um, we're gonna die cut out some hearts. And I wanted to bring in some more of that dark brown from the cupcake wrapper or the chocolate cupcake portion. So I'm bringing in some brown card stock. We're gonna die, these two di um, heart dies are from the Darling Hearts die set. There's um, two different sizes. I die cut out two of the smaller ones and then one of the medium size here. And we are gonna add three hearts. I was gonna put one below the sentiment and thought it would look nicer just above it. And so we're gonna change placement here. Okay, now um, now this heart I think was a little too tall. So I'm gonna go through my dice and see if I can find a smaller heart or a flattener or a more flat heart. And I found one here in the circle frame die set. I'm just gonna um, take this die and die cut it out with the same chocolate brown cardstock here. And this was just a hair um, shorter than the, the heart that I cut out earlier. So we're gonna set that aside. I think this is gonna work out a little bit better. We're gonna pop up each one of our little chocolate hearts with foam squares. These are so small, I have to trim one of the foam squares in half. And I love pinks and browns. I just think it's, it's super fun. <laughs> and 
And we will do our last one here. Okay, once our little hearts are adhered, just to give our hearts a little bit of uh, dimension, I'm gonna bring in my white gel pen. It's super easy to do. All you do is use your white gel pen and add little C's, little curves to the left side of your little hearts here. And it just makes them pop a little bit and gives them a little depth. And then last but not least, I'm gonna bring in some Ranger Stickles. This is the Glisten color. We're gonna go over the sprinkles on our cupcake. Just the cupcake, add a little sparkle. And I'm loving the way this turns out, so sweet. So there is our square card today. And again, this will fit in a five by five square envelope. So if you have an envelope maker, um, use the measurements five by five. But that's my card today using Newton Loves Cake. And hindsight's 2020, so I'm going in and I'm rearranging my little chocolate hearts, um, trying not to smear my white gel pen. We're just gonna place them a little more wonky here. <laughs> but um, if you guys are interested in seeing close-ups, I encourage you to visit my blog. Um, and if you're interested in the stamp set, everything's listed down below for you. Um, just click on the links and it'll take you to the Newton's Nook Design Shop. And um, super fun stamp set, guys. Versatility in here too, so it's not, not just for birthdays. But have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by. And we will see you again real soon.